the landslide in itself originated about 6 kilometers away in the forest and the material moved down a river and came and piled up in an area where it was never anticipated to come and pile up so there was a turn that the river took and the river itself has widened and it has become two rivers So the situation now is that uh, the landslide affected area has been properly reconnoitred. We've got a sense of exactly how much damage and where it has taken place. But broadly for the audience, along this, uh, this nala which is, which is behind us, for a distance of about 5 to 6 kilometers upstream, on either bank, the left and right bank, they, for about 300 meters on either side, the ground has given way, there have been landslides and it has been washed away. So all the villagers and the houses and the habitat which was in the path of the landslide and this raging torrent of water, they have been uh, severely damaged, in some cases completely collapsed. Uh, I would estimate between 80 to 100, possibly 110 houses have been uh, damaged. There are three major sites where we are operating now. One is just across this bridging site where we are attempting to launch a bridge about a kilometre and a half upstream. There's a place called Atamalai, where rescue operations are on as we speak. Further beyond, another two kilometers upstream, there is a, a mosque and a madrasa, where is, which is where we have set up a, a controlling kind of a headquarter over there. And from there, in that vicinity, there is substantial damage to buildings. And then as you go further upstream at the source of the landslide, there are a few houses which are affected there as well. Uh, as of now, the majority of the casualties have already been evacuated. As you would have noticed yesterday, the numbers were very high. Today it is substantially lower and uh, hopefully most of them have already been either safely evacuated or in some cases fatal casualties have also been pulled out.